All right, guys, uh, working on the MX-6000. I guess you can't see it because of the sunlight. Um, cab tractor, but it doesn't matter. I was going to show you my hold downs. So the way I always hold my tractor down, I always put a clevis in the back. And that thing, my draw bar is incredibly long. I may actually cut that down and drill a new hole and get it a little further in because that thing sticks out so far. And the only reason I use a draw bar for anything is to tie it down so but tie downs on the front of a tractor are usually hard to come by um you know if you've got a loader yes you could probably tie to this but then you scrape it all up there's not a lot there you know a little quarter inch flat bar what i usually do on kubotas i've had a fair amount of kubotas um they always have it always seems like they have this hole right here well, this frame up here is really thick, especially on this MX. And even on, I had a B7800 years ago, I did the same thing and it worked really good. What I do is I take these D-rings, you know, this is like 11,000 pound, uh, oh, it says 11,000 pound. I don't know what the rating, what they call it, I don't remember. Um, but you can get them and normally they have square holes in them for carriage bolts. What I do is I take a half inch unibit, or you can do a half inch reamer. A drill bit's a little tough with the square hole, but a unibit will go right through that square hole and make it a half inch round. And then I just use a countersink, and you know, a countersink like this, and I just countersink it just to kind of take off the burr and to like chamfer that hole a little bit, it makes it nice. Well, then what you do is most of these. Most of these are a half inch hole right there. So I've got my half inch grade eight bolt. It goes right in my hole now. I put my D-ring on it. And I, I can't think right here. Okay, I want this down like that right there. It doesn't matter which way, but that it said 10,000 or 11,000 pounds on the outward side. So I figured I'd make that face out. I don't know. Blame it on my OCD. Um, so what you do is I put my D-ring on like that. I try to figure out how I want that positioned to pull really nice on a, on a uh, attachment on my trailer. And then I drill me a new hole. What I do is I'll take my drill and I put a half inch bit in it, half inch bit. And then, you know, I don't have to turn the tires or anything. Actually, this tire is turned to the left here, but I want to be about right there. So you, you mark the hole. Let me slide that out of the way. See how I marked the, the hole there. Check behind it. There's nothing behind here on either side. Uh, the other side ha does have I don't know, it seems like I've got a couple little hydraulic lines that are close, but they're not right there. And then, obviously it's e easier to drill a smaller hole instead of that half inch hole first. This just happens to be a 5 16 So that way, there's my pilot, so that'll be right in the middle of that hole. So I'll drill that hole. Usually I paint these. Um, I need to put the tractor on the trailer here after I'm done with this. We're going to go do some work with it as long as it doesn't have a hydraulic leak anymore. Um, so let me, uh, let me go ahead and drill the holes. I'll get it bolted up and we'll be back and I'll show you how it turns out. But this is the easiest way and the best little way that I have found to actually tie down a tractor. They work extremely well. So uh, let me get this done and we'll be right back. All right. Well, that's all tightened down. I put half inch bolts in it. They're like an inch and a half, two inches long. I've got uh, a lock washer on the back with the nut and it stops flush with the nut so it doesn't stick out very far. Um, it's a really nice setup. I think they're actually inch and a half long, but just measure your frame and kind of see you know, how thick you need or whatever. Um, but those work really, really well. Um, on an open station, you might hear a little jingling or something up there. A cab tractor, you're not going to hear anything at all. But if you uh, if you want a nice, quick, easy little tie down, 
Um, I know I've had some people in the past put eye bolts in them that I've seen. I kind of like I kind of like having two bolts in it. Yes, you have to drill a hole in your frame, but uh, it's not that big a deal. Take your time, make it right, and it works pretty good. So hopefully that'll help you guys out. I will take these off on a rain day, and I'll paint them. I'll, I'll paint the hole in there and everything else nice. I'll probably touch up the front of the frame. But uh, anyways, until I get a rain day, that gold anodized or whatever that is finish, it'll be just fine. So hopefully that helps, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. All right, well, I just got done hauling up here. Here's Dad's place. We've gotten a lot of work done. Uh, still have a little bit of work to do to the pond, and then we're going to start prepping for seed. But that's what I'm going to do today, because all this was walked in with the dozer. You can kind of see it's ripply. Um, it's dried out really good. Still has a little bit of moisture in the low spots. Not bad. I think it's going to do pretty good. Uh, there's a high spot there. I'm going to try to pull a lot of that material down. I still need to fill up down where you see that mound of dirt. That was the other day when I dug the cove. That stuff was so mucky I had to let it dry out for a couple days. Um, but I've got a lot of work to do on each side of the road here. Um, we need to get this prepped out. I think since I've got a bigger tractor, mine's a, a 6,000 obviously. Dad's got the same style tractor. He's got an L35 something. It's like 35 horse. He's got a grader on the back we'll show you. Um, it ought to do really good on his tractor. I don't have a grader scraper for the back of mine yet. It is on my short list, but I have an eight foot box blade. So that's what we're gonna use today. Not my choice, but I do need to carry some dirt down. So uh, hopefully it'll do pretty good. I wanted to show you the tie downs though, how I tie down my tractor. Uh, just a, a uh, what you call it? Yep, whatever that is, a clevis. Just a clevis in the back. I think I am going to shorten that draw bar up, by the way. I don't know. If you guys have done it, let me know kind of where you like it. I don't ever pull a pull type anything, ever. Um, and in the front, here's our D-rings. It does pretty good. I wish the D-rings were a little narrower. These are a little wider than normal. But um, as you see, it clears my serial number plate. It works really good. Um, I started to loosen this up, so it's loose but uh i figured i'd show you those before i loosened it up so there's what i do to tie down a kubota tractor um i did something fairly similar on my john deere but this this tends to work out really good on the kubotas so if you guys need a, a tie down option if you wanted if you didn't want to weld the frame or drill the frame you could always drill holes in your in your bracket there and and use it as well that works really good guys i have yet to have an issue with it ever uh the inside clears the hydraulic lines for the steering let's show you that real quick i think you can see in there um it, it just works real well so hope it helps um i do need why don't you guys tell me i guess i don't need to do that one um but on my loader i want to get uh let me know what style of the plugs that you guys use and what kind of works the best um i do want to plug that up on mine i thought maybe i could put stuff in it i don't know we'll see you guys later thanks